All right, YouTube, another unedited video. I'm so sorry. I got sick for a whole week. I'm behind on work. I, I'm behind on the Dark Souls video. So I don't really want to put another project on my books of what to edit. You know, I know I know slabs and grabs are pretty easy to edit, but I really wanted to get this one out just in case I get too busy and I forget to edit it because I tend to try to get the slabs and grabs videos after a show. It is now Monday. The show is Saturday. I only waited because I debated if I wanted to buy a couple other slabs at my local game store Sunday, but I decided not to. I, uh, I pulled a pack of magic and got really lucky, so I didn't want to press my luck to like try to think what I could want because I'd probably be disappointed or I'd end up spending more money. So I, I decided to hold back, but I am going to showcase the things I got at the Wonderland Expo this weekend. I'm very, very happy how this weekend actually went. Like, I can't express how happy I am because I found things I needed. I found something else I had wanted real badly, but I did not have the money for it, which was unfortunate. But seeing someone have it has a potential chance. I will see it eventually later on, I hope. But uh, with that said... Let's lead into the first graded card. We have a scissor from Neo Discovery. As everybody remembers, I am trying to collect, uh, make a complete set of Neo Discovery graded cards. This one was actually one of the cards I was worried to try to find. It's not too expensive, but it's also a pretty pricey card. So th it, this card's beautiful, by the way. Like. This is probably one of my favorite things about Neo Discovery. Steel types looked like they had this steel vibe to them and everything on their border. The foiling is a glitter of a scissor just rushing at you. The the sun glare like bouncing off him, showing that he's a steel type. Like, oh, uh, it, it is just an amazing card. This is one of the most beautiful arts that they did back in Neo Discovery. So this is from CGC, a 7.5 graded. You know, Discovery, Unlimited Hollow. Uh, I didn't even look at the condition because it looked like it looked like a very solid front. So I figured the damages are going to be in the corners, like some kind of play corners. Like right here, it looks like maybe shuffling. Right here, someone maybe taking out a binder a few times. Another one right here. I think there's a mark right there. So yeah, a 7.5. It's actually not bad condition. I probably would have actually made this maybe an eight. Again, I'm not a grader, so I don't know if like there may be surface damage here or something. You know, I don't know. But this is a really, really nice grab for the collection. I'm very happy to found that I found this and had the money for it. I think it was the first thing I bought. I went into the expo wanting to find a particular card, which I did, and that comes with its own story, but I'm showing that last. Uh, the other card that I got and it's going to be out of order the story, ironically. But we have a Marnie's Pride here, full art. I'm very happy about this because I got a raw one. I still have the raw one, which I'm probably going to keep and get signed, actually. Uh, I was going to grade it because this is one of the cards that I did not have in my collection for Marnie. And it's one of my favorite arts because she's in her, uh, what's it called? The gym leader uniform. So this is like after the game and everything, and she takes over her brother's position. So it's really cool. It's really nice art to emphasize her. As you can see, PSA right here. But what's the grade? You know, we know what we've been talking about, the corners with PSA. You know, it's got to be a 9, right? Eh, it's a 10. This was a fucking 10 that I found. I found this from a vendor that was brand new. And... I saw it, it was 10, I'm like, holy shit, that's a graded Marnie's Pride. Uh, wow, I'm going to need to get that somehow. And I spent my money, like, I only took out a certain amount of money this time. And this showed up, I'm like, I have to find a way to get this. I have to find if he wants to trade things or find someone that's buying things. And he looked over my collection, he, he was very openly about this. Uh, he's going to be tagged in Instagram, so... You know, there's no trash talk as warning, but, uh, I forgot what I was going to say for a moment. Oh, he looked over, he said he was only looking for things for his collection stuff, which, you know, I get that. I get that. Like, I'm hesitant to trade things for my collection and everything. 
And there were a couple of things that he said he was interested in, but he would have to think about it. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go walk around and I'll come back. And actually, I want to double check because I didn't even look at the condition. That this? Oh my god, what a... Like, there might be a little slight damage or it might be just like the edge edging the card but uh a 10 graded marnie's pride i'm super happy about this like i can't even get over it like the guy was super nice because i eventually found my go-to person uh justin and asked him if he was buying cars he's like and he goes yes for cash he goes yes like all right cool let me tell you what i want and he helped me get 20 dollars everything and eventually the guy uh wanted a particular set of cards that I had that was like a pretty much a collection of itself and I ended up not spending as much but I was like full prepare mode like I need to sell cards I need to find someone who will buy my cards and give me cash I went to him again and luckily I didn't have to go like around again and try and find people I was not leaving that place without this dang card <laughs> I was, I know I sound really loud and excited, but I had told my friend, I'm not leaving this place without this card. This, this card is going into my Marty collection. I'm not leaving. And I did get it. And I was super excited. Like, I was more determined because it was a 10. Like, obviously 10 grades are like the highest, if you don't know. So getting Marty's Pride 10 as I was hunting for this card for a graded version it was just like i can't i can't let it go by speaking of marnie this is the last card of today that we're talking about and the reason why i was really hunting for a card and it comes with its own st story this is not a graded card as you would see in the thumbnail there was not a graded card and some of you might be confused because you will recognize the card and know that i have this card graded it is a full art marnie raw and as you can see i have it in a sleeve within a uh, protective oversleeve and everything i i need to find perfect fits actually because i want to get this perfect fitted uh the reason why i'm protecting this card very very much is because the convention i am volunteering at in a month has the english voice actor of marty now i don't follow up the anime too off too much i stopped after like gen 4 somewhere in the middle i don't remember exactly when but i still i i still watch clips of the show to see what would happen see how like certain villains would be betrayed how certain pokemon would behave and everything you know just curiosity things and of course when sword and shield came out from the anime and everything i watched scenes of marnie and everything the battles a couple of things that would happen i 100 percent think the English voice actor for Marnie is perfect. Like, she is absolutely Marnie. She made it perfect. She made the energy through it perfectly and everything. Like, it's just everything about it. It's just perfect. And the English voice actor is showing up to that convention. So I want her to sign the card. Because when I think someone is perfect for a role for their voice, how they handle the character and everything, to me, you are that character. Like, I don't care, like... If people say, well, they're only playing the part, they're only an actress, like, I don't care. They are that character. Like, they made it work. They brought the character to life. If you bring a character to life, to me, you are that character, no matter what. And the voice actor made it perfect. And now, I said there's a story with this card. Uh, I went through the whole expo at least once, not finding a single person with any Marnies, like, graded ungraded marnie's pride the other promo card that i have like nothing no one had a single marnie until i got to the last table where they asked oh what are you looking for i'm like oh i'm looking for graded neo discovery cards i'm also looking for a full art marnie that's not graded and they said oh we have one I'm like awesome perfect how much i'm buying it right now i cannot find anybody that has this card you know, they helped me out and everything, and they loved that I, what I want to do with it and everything. Uh, when I go to these shows with my friend, we typically loop around at least two or three more times after the first time, depending, like, how crowded it gets, only because some people are still setting up. Because we get there typically when it opens. Like, we get there nice and early. But uh, typically some people are still setting things up. Some people will buy and sell cards. 
Some people get more things in from their, like, house or whatever. So you don't know what's going to fully be out by the time you do your first rotation. After the second rotation going through, I found at least eight of the tables having Marty cards. Some tables having ungraded Marty cards. So it was really a kick in the balls. Oh, it wasn't really a kick in the balls, actually. I shouldn't say that because I think they were all the same price. So uh, it was just really coincidental that... After the last table I go to, everybody suddenly has Marty's. <laughs> and I, there wasn't, like, any particular pe person I, like, I wanted to give business. Obviously, it was someone I did business with before. Obviously, I would want to do it with them. Like, if Justin had this Marty, I would want him to give him the business first. Like, like I said, he is my go-to go card person at this point for, like, Pokemon, graded, anything, etc. So, shout out to you, Justin. But, uh, I'd rather give the business to them, but, you know... Whoever, it's typically first come first serve or if someone has a better deal like everybody has heard the story with my unknown that I have that I got a, actually I think at the last expo where I found someone with a higher priced unknown than they should have and I found someone else had a cheaper uh yeah cheaper value sorry I'm still kind of sick my sick I I'm recovered but my brain is a little out of it <laughs> but uh there's always going to be people who sell things either overpriced or underpriced. And I typically tell people if they're underpriced, I'll tell them they're underpriced. Like a couple of people have had magic cards and they have priced their cards at like $1. And I have straight up told someone like, that is not a dollar card. I don't know if you're new or whatever, but that is not a dollar card. Like how much is it? I'm like that is a $45 card. And I'm only helping you because I know how it is to get screwed over card prices and everything. I would double check that card. I'm pretty sure it's 45. And it's a good thing he checked because it was a $60 card. <laughs> so I was wrong, but it was higher value. But I, I, I'm i just super happy that like the connections I'm building are paying off because I now have the new guy that I bought this from and everything. Super relaxed, dude. He has things I want if he still has it, including a... Pokemon Crystal? <laughs> I gotta really want it. Uh, the Marnie... Sorry, no, that was from the Marnie's Pride. Sorry, that was from Marnie's Pride. That was from Marnie's Pride. But, uh... Justin is obviously always helping me out and everything. I found a couple other familiar faces. Like, someone was like, Hey, that card that we sold and everything that we bought from you was because of the story you told us and everything. Like, they were chatting with me and everything. Like, I I'm super happy that now... I'm pretty much becoming a regular to some people. Me and my friend, actually, I should say, we're becoming regular with some people and building these connections, building these communities and everything. Because it, it's great. It's really nice. Because at some point, I'm going to want to try to host a card show near my town because we don't really have any near my area. And reaching out to those people are going to be great. So I'm very happy with this weekend. So... Thanks again to Waterland Expo for hosting your monthly shows. Thank you, Justin, obviously, for helping me out. Uh, I just realized I should have had my... Crap. Uh, the guy that helped me get the Marnie's Pride, the new guy, I, I should have had his page shown up on my Instagram. So part of me for delaying, I am, I am, I, I'm going to find it. It's somewhere around here freak where is it i know it's somewhere and i can't go on my phone because i'm using my phone is it this one or is it this one is it this one that's three days ago no i know who that is never mind uh-oh who is it no it's not this one. Oh no where did he go oh no uh crap <laughs> Oh, this is so embarrassing. I want to give a proper shout out. This is so embarrassing. This is such scuff right now, as they would say on the streaming community. Oh, God. I'm going to have to go to Justin's Instagram now. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Maybe I should edit this one. Hold on. I'm so sorry. I want to give... No, oh, no, it's this one. This one. How do I click? Uh, Dandelion? 
Dandelion? Is that what it's pronounced? Yes, yes. Dandelion.dev. Thank you again for getting me the Marnie's Pride. I'm just going to put this here so you guys aren't just staring at a at a screen. Like, I do have the right person, right? I, I sure hope I have the right person. I'm pretty sure this is the right person. Yeah, this is the right person. Very happy about it. I don't even see if this is in frame. It's barely not. So, thank you again for helping me get this card and everything. Uh... Yeah, I look forward to the next show I go to. Probably won't be until the Wonderland Expo, actually. So until then, like that like button, subscribe, join the Discord in the link below. You know, you guys know the deal. But until then, I'll catch you in the next one.